Do you remember uh, World of Warcraft? The priest spell Lightwell? Very powerful, but people had to click on it in order to get the heal. So no one actually did it. Hmm? Yes, I can do that. Work, work. I should definitely creep myself an expansion with just the grunts. Because the more gold I got coming in, the more I can throw at my enemies, despite my hero not existing. Bit of a shame. Good map for heroes. Because of the taverns. I mean, um, marketplaces. They made Lightwell spell in HOTS just to be passive because of that. <laughs> yeah, I bet they did. They learned from their experience, didn't they? It's effectively one of the most powerful healing spells in the game, but people actually have to use it. They have to click on it. They have to do something with it. And of course, having to do something as a player means, ooh, extra work, extra APM. So people didn't. Laziness. Lazy, lazy. Should I double grunt this time? We can try double grunt this time. Because, I mean, it doesn't matter if we win or lose. We're just experimenting at the end of the day. And maybe I can do like a hit and run attack on my opponent. And I don't get any of the repercussion. Because he's not nearest me. I'm in a safe position. I feel like that extra barracks is a bit much, though. There's a way around this somewhat, but it means a long delay. It's imperative that I get the grunts, though, messed up, so I kind of have to get that burrow. What I was going to do is try to get my extra food from the town hall, but it's not going to work. I need way more gold coming in. That extra barracks was a bit OTT at this point. It's not going to hurt me too much, because it's effectively just the same cost as an altar, almost. And I'm only going to be like 40 gold shy. Big booty hobo has left the game. Four versus four RT strikes once more. I'll get a grunt from this barracks this time. <laughs> it's quite addictive. Alright, I'm going to OCD it. Wait for 400. Get my d two more grunts. I think I should be able to create this camp with five grunts. I might end up losing one or two. Because I don't have a hero to compensate. But if it costs me a grunt or two, it's not the biggest deal. The main thing is I just try to get it as soon as can be realistically done. Night time will let me get into a good position. Ah, uh, yeah. You could go um, backpack and steal items. So, these two will go here and here. And you'll have 18. So, you have like 20 damage. So, 100 damage per hit. 80 health. This is where it gets a bit messy though. With all the creatures. Of course I can't heal my grunts afterwards. That's also another annoying thing. I'm trying to sort of focus fire a little bit so there's less mobs to be hitting me all the time. Tech. I can't utilize the items. I almost need like to build a shop in an ally's base so that they can uh, <laughs> heal my grunts or something. <laughs> Give them some money to heal my grunts. I'm not even sure why I'm really creeping other than the expansion. Like, what's the point? You get a little bit of gold for creeping, but... 
He's still taking damage on the ground. So they're going to do a rush over here by the looks of it. He's getting ready for some defense. I'll bring my grunts over. Oh boy. You better, yeah. Get a nice choke point would be good. The only downside is I'm coming from the other side here. Which is in the open. So it's not very good for me. Oh, hang on. Uh oh. Hey, might be Baron. Oh, yeah, you're still banned, aren't you? <laughs> Lest we forget. Keep these injured grunts. It feels bad, man. I want to heal them. At least I can do some damage. I like I took out a couple of headhunters, so I wasn't completely useless with my grunts. Ah, oh, Torrent Chieftain too fast, too flexible, too strong. They're still trying to hold off here. I've got some fresh grunts coming in now. There's some injured units. I can try to block those a little bit. Right, tech is complete. Let's go get pillage, backpack, things like that. Fill up this expansion. Oh no. Alright. <gasps> what are you doing, boys? That's not where you should be. Skeletal grunts versus skeletal orcs. Escape. Escape. Oh, he was just about to swing the hammer down. The axe. That's what's going to happen to those grunts. If they don't get the healing cells, they become skeletons. Ooh, that's, a that's an allied one. Don't want to kill him. Nice. Right, we've got Berserker strength now. Is it time to back off a bit here? It's kind of stabilized a little bit. I'm going to go with a triple barracks. Ah, oh, no, no, no. That's bad for that grunt. Too much damage. All right. Pink is returning back to base, so let's follow him with our grunts, because he might notice the shop and get healing cells. Let's rally our grunts over to outside our expansion for now. We don't really need lumber by the scenes of it, because I'm not going for the support slash technology. We're just going mass grunts. Plus, I might get some lumber from pillage. Otherwise, I would like um, Shredder. Here he comes. Give him 200 gold towards the cause. Then he can't complain. I mean, I can buy the... Pink! What are you doing? Hi! Hi! Oh, God. Betrayed. Why did we let the Forsaken into the Horde? If only you can buy these items, but you can't use them. Come on! They so easily could have been healing me over over that time. Man. Alright. I thought I built a war mill, but never mind. Let's do it again. We've got a decent, healthy food of army. Uh, I guess that makes sense. They're still fighting the good fight over here. Barely keeping alive. I might go for someone's main with the grunts, to be honest. Rather than defend this, because... Ah, oh, for God's sake. Of course they're going to aggro my weakest grunts. 
course you are. What I'm thinking is they can't really push that base much further than they currently have. I can't go for where they are. I have to go for like on the other side of the map like over here, which is far off from where they currently are. If they attack, those grunts are dead, but to be fair, that'll just put me underneath the 50 food mark and then I can rebuild again. Should get some pretty hefty pillage from this. They're probably going to do the red spots, I would think, actually. Or they're going to come back to their base and creep, because there's an acolyte coming over there, so... He's probably going to come this way anyway. So, I may as, well, may as well go for it. It's in for a penny, in for a pound at this point. Go, my clunky friends. This is totally worth it. I have forced a town portal. Quick, I'll use the speed scroll. Oh, no, shit. Speed scroll's been used against me once again, betrayed. It's a shame they sort of stopped attacking my allies because I kind of needed the, the distraction to continue, but never mind. Have to wait and see what they do. Get him, boys. See, grunts are still good. Twelve grunts. No other action happening on the on the map here. Just waiting. Soaking up uh, some gold. Actually, I need to build another peasant peon. So we're going to go over. I don't know what's going on on the map because no one on my team is actually venturing out. So it's... Wherever I go, those grunts are going to get killed. If only I could have a hero. It's okay. It's part of it, though. Raiders could be good, yeah. Okay, orange is over here. Pink's seen it. He's capitalizing. Or they're rallying to go attack again. I feel like a typical 4 versus 4 RT player, to be honest. Oh, good, Frostworms. I can't back. You have to commit instead of constantly running back. Because you're wasting all the potential damage I'm doing here. There we go. That's what we needed. We needed that guy to TP, so then it became an even fight, but he just went... <laughs> Very useful. If I got the surround, it means most four versus... He should have let his hero die if he really wanted his team to win. But most players are too vain, and they'll always TP to save their hero and save themselves. So then it becomes a more even fight. So I needed Pink to commit. Yes. 
Has he got statues? No, he doesn't. Dabu. Our allied huh? town is being attacked. Zug -zug. Dabu. Swobu. What do you want, Okta? Yes. Well, the only healing I'm going to get is from his freaking uh, unholy aura. This is a bad idea if this goes wrong. Because I can't get back again, as we know. His expansion is gone. Okay. Get those raiders. Mass wyverns would be easier, but not as fun. I'm stashing still quite a bit of cash because I want to make sure I'm prepared for the late game. That's if we get that far. Could build more grunts, but... Oh dear. Regroup. I only have my allies to blame if this doesn't go well. Oh no, not my expansion. How am I going to buy all my raiders? Need something. Master. Need to force a town portal or something. It's pretty hard to get many grunts on that town hall. Most of them are going to get killed. Oh, good. A town portal. That's what we want. See if we can get more to town portal. Yep, we can. Oops, sorry mate, I've kind of gone this way. Oh god, look at those frostworms. I don't like where they're going. To the back of Pink's base, quick. Trying to isolate the Death Knight without Purple paying too much attention. And now he knows. Gotta kill the Tauren Chieftain, that's the main bulk. Because the other guy's the guy that's left. So the Tauren Chieftain's more important than the Death Knight. There we go. Got Town, town Portal. I guess I just won't include the first game, actually, because this has ended up being quite a fun game. In the previous game, not much happened. We won quite early on. And I went for tech, but didn't really get to use much of it. So the strategy here is um, essentially no hero, in case you couldn't tell. I have no idea this is a good fight to run into, but most of my allies are here, so... Just need this guy. If he TPs, then we can win this. If he TPs. He's got two fucking town portals, I can see on his hero. Luckily, we're doing well enough here as it is without him. God, that guy is massive liability. Like, just... Super 4 versus 4 RT ally. Raiders at least being useful here. Capitalizing on some frost worms. Mm. 
I've got like 19 food there. We've like barely won this. That would have been a landslide though. Wow. Those are my like only units. Be kind. I don't even have an expansion, so I've got like very little money coming in. So I can't really mass raiders like I want to raid. Did he lose all of his frost worms? Oh my god. Could he literally be any worse, that guy? Wow. Like, it's honestly games like this where it would probably be easy if he, there was literally no, no, no buildings here, no player. If it was just three versus four from the beginning, it would actually probably be easier. Yeah, I mean, that's, doesn't that just say everything? I think I've done more than him with no hero. Wow. I mean, we actually could have won this game. If he just TP'd at that point, that was an easy win. We would have obliterated them and then had a much um, larger surplus of units to overwhelm them with. Now, the enemy are actually in a better spot than us. Just crazy. He's just sacrificing. He's just sending two Frostworms for no reason here. He's literally feeding them. Literally. It would be best if he just fucking left and we unsummoned all of his buildings right now. He would be more useful. That is mega liability. Like, of catastrophic proportions. Just bonkers. What is going on in these minds? The player behind that keyboard, that cut, like... Did someone let their five-year-old son start playing or something? I don't get it. Well, there's no way to win this now. And my base is getting obliterated, so this is getting less and less fun. I'm just going to say GG, to be honest, because this is over. Like, to continue this game is pretty horrible, to be honest. With nothing left to build. Wow. Wow. When you're less of a liability than someone... When you go no hero and you're less of a liability. Wow. Holy shit. I actually would have got a higher score than him if I had a hero. 15,000 points on the hero. 15,000 on 45,000 is 60,000. Frickin' hell. I actually killed more units than him. With no hero. Oh, it was Luger, was it? Oh, sorry, that's the guy that left. Because I was thinking of it from teal perspective. Because I changed the ally colors. So I'm blue and everyone else is teal. And I got obsessed with that guy. <sighs> I don't think I even saw his lich do anything. I only saw his death knight going back and forth, and that was about it. That's really frustrating because we actually had a win there. 
And I said it multiple times. I pinged like three separate occasions on his hero, then on the, the battle that's happening. So even if he's a dipshit, he can still work out what that means. And also I typed TP to the person, I think, twice. And then I even tried to look for his name, TP Lua. And he just refuses, refused to accept what was happening. He's in his own little fucking bubble, that guy. Like... Did he even know there were other players in the game? I'm genuinely w wondering if he even knew that other people actually existed in that game. Like, I asked for the healing salve, I gave him gold. Just straight up just walks past like a robot. Like, he's not even... It's like, someone got bots to work now on Warcraft 3 that can autoplay. Because that's how it felt. It's completely and utterly clueless. Like, even if there's a language barrier, you can still recognize pings. Especially when someone types your name. If you put your name as Lua, and then someone types Lua, you probably think, hmm, they might be referring to me. Not just typing some foreign language. God damn. I'm really kind of annoyed on that one, because that was a solid game. For a really long point, and then the shit hit the fan. Like, that fight, he needed to be there. That's Normally, I wouldn't worry too much. But if I'm telling you you need to be in that fight, then you need to be in that fight. I got freaking... Hundreds of thousands of 4 versus 4 RT games experience in my belt. I know when things need to happen. I know when you can take the piss with things and when you need to get into the action. And that was one of those moments. We survived the fight with just about a slight victory. They ran away with slightly less units than what we had left over. But that was all of them. And if we had him, we would have had, like, just so many units for our own self. And they would have had even less units to run away with. It would have been an absolute blast after that point. Absolute blast. If you get this guy in your team, just leave the game, to be honest. If it looks like it's going to be, like, a, an even game, leave it. Because you've already lost if you've got this guy in your team. Monion monolithic uh, liability. Coming from someone who just went only units. Wow. Like, I don't think I've seen many 4 vs 4 RT players that dipshit. And I've seen a lot of dipshit 4 vs 4 RT players.